Hi, hey, and hello. It is your girl Shayla back with another video. Per. Per. If you are a true supporter outside of YouTube and you know you send me like video recommendations, I know this is not the video that you're looking for. But guess what? That's too damn bad! Okay, anyways, per usual, if you're new to this channel, welcome, boo. Welcome, welcome to our club! Welcome to our club! And if you're not new, what it do baby welcome back because i know it's been a minute and i just asked y'all to bear with me okay okay as you see by today's title i tried a new washing up routine because sometimes it's not always about the products you use but so much as the technique this routine was inspired by face over matter she is a christian based makeup and hair influencer and this is a routine that she came up with i don't know if she got it from somebody else or if it's just something that she started doing and it worked for her but i was like i think i'm gonna try it so before we get into the routine let me show y'all what i used for wash day so i first went in with a pre-poo i used the african pride Moisture Miracle Aloe and Coconut Water Detangle and Condition Pre-Shampoo. Bomb.com. This right here set the foundation for the wash day. Per. Period. Then, y'all, I tried this new product. Well, it's new to me. And this is the Curl Quenching Conditioning Wash from Curl Smith super cleansing super moisturizing this is the best co-wash i've ever used and most of y'all know i'm a, more of a shampoo girl because shampoo cleanses your hair gets rid of all that build up but this right here from curl smith it, it did the job and it's a little expensive but to me it was worth it not only is it moisturizing but it actually cleanses your hair and even though it's a co-wash it has a little bit of a bubble to it okay i'm gonna eat like a co-wash with some suds then for deep conditioner i went in with the texture id coil conditioning mask i know i've used the leave-in conditioner from this line and i wasn't a huge fan of it but the deep conditioner chef's kiss okay so that's all i used for wash day let's go ahead and get into this routine first things first i'm going in with a leave-in conditioner to save time, I actually had this leave-in conditioner in my hair before I started recording. I just wanted to let y'all know in that little clip that I work it into each section, put a plastic cap on my head, and let that sit for 15 minutes. If you haven't tried that before, I suggest you do, especially if you struggle with your hair being super dry. That allows for your hair to absorb all of the product. Then I follow up with the mousse and I'll have a link to all the products that I use down below because they are different from the ones that Face Over Matter uses in her videos. Last step is the star of the show other than me, the gel. Yes, we are putting a gel on top of the mousse. I'm going in with this Wet Line Extreme Gel instead of Eco Styler, which is what Face Over Matter used in her video. I was actually one of the people that had headaches and migraines from Eco Styler Gel, so Wet Line it is. And I know it may not look like it to some, but I do actually have some pretty thick hair 
which is why you'll see me splitting my sections up and making sure every curl is coated with the gel so that they can be popping. So now that I'm done applying all of the products, I just wanted to give y'all a quick 360 before I showed you the final results. So now it is the next day and I wanted to, of course, include the takedown process for y'all. My hair wasn't fully dry, but I did the banding method anyway, just so I could stretch my hair out a little bit overnight. y'all these are my results y'all better get into it okay tabitha yes i named my hair tabitha had to put it in slow-mo for y'all because tab is not playing then tabitha wanted to give y'all another 360 okay and y'all better not say anything about them little patches of product because like i said before my hair was not dry all the way okay okay but i hope y'all enjoyed this video make sure you give it a like leave some comments and y'all better subscribe peace out girl scouts Ow. That wash and go combo y'all just watched was a no for me. It's definitely a no for me, dog. And let me tell you why. As I've said before in other hair videos, I hate, absolutely hate having to apply my stylers onto soaking wet hair. But with this wash and go combo, as I'm like learning it, because it is something that gives you like bomb definition moisture all of that and it's something that i want to keep trying here's why that wash and go did not work i didn't know that it didn't work until the next day which i mean y'all see the res the next day results but my hair ended up flaking after i stopped recording so i'm letting y'all know now if you do try this wash and go combo make sure you apply the mousse on soaking wet hair and it didn't register with me until i washed my hair again to try the wash and go combo again that mousse was not it, it felt like it was drying my hair out it was really a flop because nobody wants flakes in their hair
I, I did the same routine, just tried a different mousse like that. That's what I got right now. Definition, my hair feels soft. If, if I could get at least, at least four days, at least, I'll go, I'll, I'll take a whole week, maybe two. Now let's push it. But if I could get at least four days out of this wash and go with no flakes, I will film this tutorial for y'all. Right now we're on day two. Okay, let me step out so y'all can see. Uh, before this video ended, I just wanted to let y'all know it was a flop. And that's just a part of creating content. Like, sometimes you have to show people your successes. You have to show people your failures. Either way, y'all gonna get some content, okay? And we gonna learn together. That's also part of the process, just learning together. Now y'all can go. Peace, love, and hair grease. I'll see y'all in the next video. I got, I got, I got, I got loyalty, got royalty inside my DNA. Cocaine quarter piece, got war and peace inside my DNA.